What's going on guys, it's Irish Lunatic here and today we're going to be opening the Mega Mystery Power Box, question mark. Well, I don't think you're supposed to say the question mark, but I said the question mark. But I'm in Poles Bow, so sorry for the poor lighting conditions and uh, the horrible backdrop. But they have one Walmart on this island and uh, they actually had two Mystery Power Boxes left. And I decided to pick one up. Um, some of the videos I've been watching, uh, they pretty much aren't worth the price that they want for them. But nonetheless, I decided to pick one up just to see if I could uh, have a chance of pulling something amazing out of it. But it says right here, each box also contains one oversized card, one code card, randomly inserted bonus item, including graded cards, which I still have not seen out of these. Uh, chromium sticker sheets and more. It's the and more that I'm excited about. But looks at like you get a question mark black card. Which I'm really excited to get one of those. So you guys might have seen these out there on the internet. Um, they come with various mystery gifts. Um, I'm going to open it up. See if I can get anything spectacular out of it. So I got the super tough uh, plastic wrap off of there. You can see the box is kind of damaged. Um, this one had a security cable on there, which I thought was kind of impressive. So nobody was able to poke a hole in the bottom of them like they like to do. And check the cards and see if there's something amazing in there. But we'll go ahead and open this thing up. See, see if we get anything different than what I've been seeing that's out there. So first off, let's start with the mega card. See what we get oh that's pretty sweet the mega salmonets ex jumbo card not a bad one seems to be in pretty rough shape but not too bad and let's see what other goodies we get in here so looks like right away oh my god a graded card no way a graded card I thought that was just a myth. Well, I may have to pause this video. Oh my god, I can't believe this. I can't see what card's in here. It's graded by Beckett.com, it looks like. Um, like I said, I'm traveling. Let's see if we can get this open. I may have to see if I have a pocket knife somewhere. May have to pause this video for a second, see if we can find a pocket knife. But a graded card. I thought that was just a myth. Stand by. Alright, so I actually found some sort of tool I could get it ripped open with. I I can't believe this right now. A minted card. We'll see. It says guaranteed mint. Hope you can see that. Guaranteed mint nine or gem mint ten graded Pokemon card. Oh, I got it ripped open see if we can get it all the way open oh, I can't believe this I thought they didn't exist and we'll flip it around and reveal a Ludicolo it's a 10 mint looks to be a hollow that is sweet is that an E card pretty sure that's an E card unbelievable so I don't even know what this thing's worth, if it's even worth anything, but that's pretty sweet. I didn't even realize these things would come in there. Um, I was under the assumption they didn't exist. So that is amazing. So I'm pretty much done at this point. So a mint grade 10 card. Uh, <laughs> let's keep moving. I haven't even opened a pack yet. So, okay, so looks like for the special gift I got a Pokemon movie promo card uh, I'm not sure it says 2005 on it 
Guaranteed to receive either Entai or Zapdos. These cards were previously unavailable only in movie theaters. Uh, it says down here, collectible products in this package have been purchased directly from the manufacturer. And it says Pokemon on it, so... Huh. Not even sure I know if I want to open this or not. I'm intrigued at this point. So, Mega Salmonence Jumbo Card. A Ludacolo Ten Mint Hollow from the E-Series. This sealed movie promo. And I haven't even got to the packs. Uh, I guess I'll open the rest of these packs or pull them out and see what we get. So, the Platinum Arceus, which I've seen that in these videos before. Wow. Uh, Poliwhirl. Reverse. Pretty sweet. A code for Steam Siege. Probably a random pack. Go ahead and take that. You can have it. Looks like we got Ancient Origins. XY Base Set. And then the sampling pack is Black and White Dark Explorers. I don't think I've seen this one. Huh. Wow. I'm pretty impressed with this package so already. So, oh, don't forget the one and only coin. Got the one with the uh, Trico, Mudkip, and Torchic. And then the three packs that were in the window. These keep, seem kind of secondary at this point. And they are XY Flash Fire, Roaring Skies, and Phantom Forces. So, my promo cards, apparently, are the movie promo that's guaranteed an Entai or Zapdos, Zapdos, and this Dark Explorer sampling pack. Which, that doesn't seem to be the norm with what I've been seeing on the internet that's being opened, so... I'm a little intrigued. I almost don't even want to open those. So, save the flash fire to the end. Uh, yeah. Let's start with the XY base set here. Got Xerneas on there. Wow, I'm uh, a little speechless on what I've pulled so far out of this box. So, XY base set code card. Go ahead and have that. Enjoy. If you're getting the code cards, let me know what you're getting. Um, I'd be interested to know. Look at that. Picking that up. Looks like a watermark almost. So, flip these around. Whew! I'm a little speechless at this point. So, Dodrio. Whirlpeed. Sorry about the lighting and the shadowing. I'm trying, trying to make lemonade out of the lemons I got. So, Team Flare Grunt. Spoink. Ponard, Fletchling, Finnegan, Voltorb, a Reverse Phantom, and then a Semipore. So, nothing too exciting. We'll do Ancient Origins next. And see what we get. Have the code. Hopefully, you're getting that. And we have Paint Roller, Gloom, Ace Trainer, Unknown, Beldum, Gumi, Whooper, Balfoy, a Reverse Beldum, and then a Gyarados. So, keep moving, Roaring Skies, what's the Paint Roller, what are you doing out here? Roaring Skies. Galad on there. Shame and watch. Take the Roaring Skies code. And we have Oom um, um, Pheasant. Fletchlander. Alteria. Dratini. Inkit. Natu. Trying to get my shadow out of the way. Ancient Traits Natu. Tojapi, a reverse Wurmple, and then a bayonet. <clears throat> so, 
Bonetta bayonet. So we'll go with the Phantom Forces next. Looks like an Angel Manantric on the top there, or on the front. And we'll flip them around and see what we get. We have Shauna, Battle Compressor, Mystery Energy, Dino, Carablast, Helioptile, Helioptile, whatever, Purloin, Dadini, Reverse Mystery Energy, and then a Mighty Ina. So, nothing too exciting. I guess the value in this box is in the uh, extras. So, last of the original packs there, Flash Fire, still have the Platinum, Platinum Arceus pack, sorry about that. We have Flash Fire, still hoping to get any of those <coughs> Charizard. So we have Protection Cube, Floetta, Sacred Ash, Esper, Gumi, Litleo, Sitrit. Helipatio Quillfish and then a Walrin. So, out of the uh, I guess you would say non vintage packs, uh, nothing too exciting. Still have this Platinum Arceus. Really love that Zapdos on there with the green and yellow. Hoping you're getting that. That's pretty amazing. I'll go ahead and open this guy up. Try to save the pack best I can. Take my time. Nice. I really like that. Perfect. Didn't tear it up at all. So I don't think there's any codes in these. Boy, these cards feel so much stiffer, thicker. So we have Ultimate Zone for a Stadium card, Ghastly. I'm gonna go kind of slow with these because I really like this old artwork. Trainer, that's Beginning Door with Arceus. Search your deck for Arceus. Show it to your opponent and put it into your hand. Shuffle your deck afterwards. That's a pretty good card. If you're holding an Arceus. So Gulpin. Trico. In what looks to be a pretty realistic tree. Cherub. Level 12. In case you're wondering. Radita. Love the old artwork. Baggin. A reverse Swalot. We can see that. And then an Amistar. It's a pretty cool card. I like it. I like it. Definitely going to set these aside. Uh, the pull rates were a little tougher back then. So now I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should open this Dark Explorer sampling pack. I'm wondering now if I don't get one of these three starters. And this uh, tr trading card game still in the sealed package. Um, yeah, what the heck. Let's go for it. So, Dark Explorer sampling pack. Pretty cool. What's the uh, date on these? Looks like it's from Dark Explorers. Oh, yeah, there it is. 2012 is the date for the sampling pack. Got black and white. So, Dark Explorers. Here's the card list. Pretty cool Ven Venusaur on there. Pretty typical with these uh, sampling packs to get a card list on there. That's pretty cool. See if you can see the back from the black and white days. And then let's flip these around and see what we got. We got Minun. Minun. Torchic and a Dweeble. So, pretty typical with the uh, sampling packs. Pretty cool artwork on that pack, though. I really like that. I'll save that one with the Platinum Arceus pack. 
Then I guess we'll open this up. Um, I'm not even sure if I'll be able to see what the uh, the card actually is, or if it's covered up by another card. I'm hoping it's not. If I can get this open, maybe. All right, there we go. So still in the cellophane. And can't really tell. Maybe if I move it around a little bit. Ah, don't really want to open this promo card up. It's different than the other promo cards. Ah, can't move it around enough. Ah. Really don't want to open this up. I was hoping to see you. Well, can't really see what's in there. But it was part of the uh Neo Discovery prizes at wizards.com slash Pokemon Discovery. Not even sure that's a website anymore. So I'm not sure if I should even open this thing up or leave it as is. Uh, I may have to do some research on this. Um, if you're as intrigued as I am, leave a comment below. Let me know. Should I open this? Should I leave it the way it is? Uh, I, I'm not sure what to do. I'm going to go ahead and leave that for now. So let's do a quick recap. Uh, got the uh, 10 Mint Lud Ludicolo E-Series card. Pretty sweet. Got the Jumbo Mega Salmons card. EX card. Pretty sweet. And as far as uh, what I got out of the packs, not too much. So just a lot of reverses. I don't even think I got a hollow. Um, sampling pack out of the Dark Explorers sampling pack. Uh, I'm just kind of in shock right now that I actually pulled a Jim 10 Mint, even though it's a Ludaculo. But pretty cool. Uh, a lot of these boxes I've seen really haven't been worth the money, but I'm kind of impressed with this one. So. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, drop a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.